A couple of weeks ago, I made a video about the intelligence of crowds where I mainly talked about people guessing the weight of an ox and slime molds solving mazes. Boring! But you know what's not boring? Video, video games. games. This might come as a surprise to you, but there are people playing video games on the internet right now. Together? Yes. At the same time? Amazing. I know. Wow. But one particular instance of multiplayer gaming stands out as of late. Because the game wasn't meant to be played by more than one player at a time. But couldn't you play against somebody? Well, I couldn't. It was... I didn't have any friends. Twitch Plays Pokemon is a live stream where anybody can play Pokemon in real time by entering the controls into the chat window. It's just right there on the internet, like this. Huh? Visual aid. Visual aid. Like that. It went live with the classic Game Boy game Pokemon Red, and if you know Game Boy, it's not really meant to be played by thousands of people at the same time. And since then, Twitch Plays Pokemon has gone viral. At one point, around 100,000 people were logged in, madly typing on the chat screen window. 100,000! And you know what? It wasn't complete chaos. Some of the time. Some of the time, this big, diverse, ever-changing crowd of users was able to make progress. And this isn't the first time crowds have played video games. Way back in 1991, Lauren Carpenter conducted an experiment where he packed a room full of people and had them play some Pong. With specially designed remotes, the crowd could control the paddles on the screen. One half controlled one paddle, and the other half controlled the other. We only have one uh, remote for this visual aid. Sorry about that. With no direction, no authority, a mass of individuals were effectively able to play Pong. Now I like to think of myself as an expert Pokemon trainer, and it's light years ahead of Pong in terms of complexity. It takes more than random button matching to raise a healthy chair manager. But after 390 hours, 16 days of gameplay, thousands of random people on the internet did the thing with the thing that makes the game over. It was so popular, and not a lot of people know this yet, but it caught the attention of NASA. Engineers working on the Mars program had been studying the problem of time delay between the Mars rover, Curiosity, and Mission Control. Which is about 20 minutes on average. Yeah, the feed from Mars is always 20 minutes behind. As a result, NASA can never see exactly where the rover is at any given moment, making exploration a tricky and dangerous operation. The rover could head straight for a cliff, and NASA wouldn't know until it was too late. Pull up Thelma and Louise is what they say in, in the science industry. NASA can only communicate with the rover at the speed of light. And you can't go faster than the speed of light! How do you, a NASA scientist, overcome a problem that is firmly seated in the laws of physics? I would throw money at it. Twitch Pokemon users also experienced a lag time. And now we're going to experience rag time! Because of the sheer amount of people logged into Twitch and the limits of bandwidth, when a player submitted a command, it was often too late to be of any use. That would make the game seem impossible to play if every move you make was always a few seconds or even a few minutes behind. But as we now know, Twitch users were able to beat the game despite this time lag. And NASA wants to know how they did it. To find out the secret of Twitch, NASA is now implementing a similar online crowdsourcing interface for the Mars rover Curiosity. The experiment is in the beta stage, but anybody online can log in and type a command for the Mars rover. That's awesome. It's available now? For real? Yeah, yeah. Seriously. There's, there's a link in the description. We can control the Mars rover? Mm -hmm. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Preliminary tests have already shown that it's super effective. One mission has even come back with evidence that might point to early life on Mars. A group of total strangers were able to pilot Curiosity, drill into a rock, and find molecules essential for life. Further missions of crowdsourced rovers might be able to find enough evidence to confirm that life did once thrive on Mars. And maybe still does. Ooh! <laughs> With the help of crowds, NASA might just be able to put to rest the question of whether we are or are not alone in the universe. But the task is daunting. 151 of these organic molecules are needed to verify the signature of life. But Twitch has already shown, we, we can, can catch them all! They, they didn't catch them all. Shh. Thanks for watching. You can check out the next video over there, or you can go to the previous video or see one of our previous playlists. Yeah, there's a subable link up there in the corner up there if you want to help support the show. Yeah. And remember, you can freaking control a Mars rover right now. Just follow the link in the description. Doobly do is what I say where I'm from. The doobly scription. The doobscription. Hey, Ruffles. <laughs>